Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. So today we are making a baked banana oatmeal. This is how it looks like. It's very yummy, very tasty with simple ingredients which are we have rolled oats here. We have bananas. We have three bananas um, followed by milk we're using oat milk for a recipe you can use any other plant-based milk here we have some flax gel this will replace our eggs in the recipe i have some cardamom ginger and himalayan salt and lastly we have honey this is pretty optional you can do it out so we'll begin by mashing one banana um We'll also need other things. We'll need a whisk. We'll need a spatula. And we'll also need a cup to measure the milk. Yeah. So we we'll begin by mashing our banana in a large bowl. So we've mashed one banana. This will be followed by one and a half cups of milk. Uh, there I have poured a half a cup of flax gel. And my quarter cup of honey. So after this is when I'll add my milk. I'm adding one and a half cups of milk. This will act as my liquid. Uh, remember I've said you can use coconut milk, you can use soy milk, even almond milk. Here I'm using oat milk. So mix well. Once that is done, um, we'll put this aside. Then we begin by mixing our dry ingredients. So our dry ingredients, we have oats, the cardamom, the ginger, and the salt. Mix it very well. And then all we have to do is to pour the wet, uh, the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. As you'll see here, we'll be pouring the oats into the milk and banana mixture. And we'll mix evenly. So it will be a bit liquidy, but as you know guys, um, oats tend to uh, pull water to itself so the liquid will reduce after some time so this is how it looks like we'll just set it aside for a while as we oil our baking tin so we'll we've oiled it already with some coconut oil um i've layered with uh, some slices of one banana then i'm pouring the other uh, wet layer then I'll layer one banana on top. And so right now I'm pouring some jaggery just to give it a crunch, a baking. Of course the jaggery will melt, but it will also make it brown and beautiful afterwards. So this will enter into a preheated oven for 40 minutes. And this is how it is looking. Very beautiful, tasty. Yeah, it's mouth-watering already. This place is smelling bananas. And yeah, so I'm cutting. Um, you depends on how you want to cut and the number of people you're serving. So I've cut it this into six. And yeah, this is how it's looking. It is best served warm because oats tend to pour a lot of water to itself and may become hard. So it's it's preferable to eat it warm. Remember when you're eating this, eat this to the glory of God. And remember to be a channel of light wherever the Lord has placed you. Tell me what you think about this recipe. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more plant-based recipes, just hit the subscription button. Bye.